morning everybody today i woke up like super chirpy i'm having a bit of a spa day for myself that's what i have planned for today so i thought i'm gonna take you with me i haven't done one of these in a while and i went through some of my old videos just to kind of go through everything and try to understand what is it that you guys have asked me to do what did you want me to show like there are certain set of questions that I always get that are the same and I think one of the main ones that I have to say is how I look after my hair especially because I believe it's like a few weeks ago I cut my hair just the ends because it was getting way too long I got so many questions about the hair like how did you grow your hair someone even said Hey Tamara, I uh, looked at your old videos and your hair didn't look that nice before, so how is it that nice now? You know when like somebody tries to give you a compliment but you're like, I'm not really sure if this is a compliment or not, but I thought it was super cute and I actually wanted to talk a little bit more about my hair. I know that um, I have here and there answered to some of your questions, but I would say that my hair is number one thing that gets the most questions so i am going to do everything from start to finish i'm gonna wash it i'm gonna show you everything and i'm gonna discuss deep science and technology in this video so that we can do it all together before i start for the full transparency i would like to say that this video contains a paid for integration by dyson as i will be using one of their new products which i absolutely love you have seen me use their products before including this one as well because i truly love them and i have used them even before i worked with them since i have pretty much everything from their home devices to pretty much every single hair device there is so i'll talk a little bit about that in a moment okay so to start off i think we should go wash my hair and then i will be looking after all of this one thing that i think is very important to mention at the beginning of this video is my hair type now i have curly hair i'll try and insert some of the pictures so you can see my natural hair by default curly hair is dry because of the bonds so when you look at the hair under a microscope and when you look at kind of a structure of a hair a person with curly hair has different bonds in it which makes the hair curl and that is what makes curly hair drier than straight hair. So I would say that it's much harder to grow curly hair long and to have it non frizzy sleek, which is how I like to have it. I've been lately wearing it straight, which is why I also decided to get a straight cut. And I really, really love straight hair. I guess we all want what we can't have. I do also wear it curly sometimes, but I don't wear it anymore that kind of loose wave how I used to wear it before. I don't know if you guys remember. So I nowadays go either for straight or for my natural curly. But ever since I'm in Paris, I really, really love wearing this straight blunt cut and um, styling it is actually a bit has become pleasure for me because i'm really enjoying my hair right now i get a lot of questions about my color now my color is my natural color so you will not see any dye i get a lot of questions about what hair dye i use but it is my natural hair color i do however color my hair twice a year just because here and there i would get like a few whites now maybe all together i have like four somewhere in the head but i also like the color that the dye gives me and the shine to maintain its health i do use supplements i have spoken a lot about supplements specifically about hair supplements and the care that i take when it comes to it the whole science is described in another video now i'm going to talk to you about supplements so i'm currently using different set of supplements i love using supplements kind of like boosts immunity and it's like very important as well for um, good oxidation of cells i have over here my hum hair which contains what does it contain vitamin b12 folic acid biotin 
think. I will also link the full video in the description box below so that you can check um, what I have discussed before. But for me, hair care is something very, very important. And I will now also discuss the shampoos and the products that I use for this. Just so that we have some reference for before and after, this is before. Just so that you can see, it's time to wash it. But overall, my hair is very healthy and even my hairdresser said that she does not know what I did, but that the hair never looked better. So that makes me very happy. Because Welcome to my shower. Sorry if it's a little bit echoey, but I don't tend to film here that much. So these products are products that are really, really helping maintain my hair healthy. Now we've got all of the Spawn Management Shampoo number four and Hair Perfector number three. These products I'm using for a while on my hair because like I said, my hair is naturally curly and I like to wear it straight. So I do need to add it extra care and just to hydrate it as much as I can because it says you see hydrates all hair types and hydration is what I need I literally never have a hair wash without a mask my hair doesn't get greasy ever because it's naturally dry and besides the products these products which I do not use every wash but every other wash I tend to alternate with my uh, Kerastase Discipline range. This is really great, again, for unruly hair. But I also love this hair mask. I will link it all below. This is Coco and Eve, like a virgin, uh, super nourishing coconut fig hair mask. It smells divine. Once I applied a hair mask, I would comb it all through. When it comes to Olaplex, you wash your hair with this, you towel dry it, and then you would apply this, wait for around 10 minutes, and then rinse it. Sometimes, when I feel like my hair needs some extra care, I would even sleep with this on my hair. Okay guys, so we're now in the other bathroom just because I have a setup with everything that I need here. So I'm going to show you the products to use and how I style the hair. I think this is a very, very important step because the reason why a lot of people cannot grow their hair or because the reason why uh, the hair keeps getting damaged is because the styling is wrong. Now, we know when it comes to everything is that number one enemy to the hair is the heat when not applied properly so i do because i do have curly hair i have to apply a lot of heat to my hair but i did it very wisely and i will show you everything that i use to make my hair perfect so after i wash my hair i like to use two products just to dry it i use the kerastase discipline this is the keratin thermique it's a smoothing taming um, link and it's just a care for unruly hair which is what i've told you my hair is i have a lot of hair it's very thick usually when hairdressers see my hair they don't think it's that thick so i guess it doesn't look that thick because i always try to kind of bring it down a little bit but when they start working with it they're like oh my god it's never ending okay when i go places with high humidity it gets a little extra body okay i don't know it's just a weird type of hair usually i always tell them like don't worry, your workout for the day is done. The reason why tools, styling tools, are extremely, extremely important for me is because I have a lot of hair. So I could sometimes, like, if I wouldn't have the necessary tools that I need, I would spend around four hours just to wash, dry, and style my hair. Four hours start to finish, which is, like, ridiculous. You guys know that now for over a year I've been using the Dyson Supersonic. I actually use this even when I want my hair to be curly. I just use it with a different uh, air diffuser at the end because it came with different ends. They basically place the motor inside of here instead of here so that it's so much more powerful and I can dry my hair much faster. So I'm not going to show you too many details about how I do that. I'm just going to comb through basically and I'm using a flat paddle brush as you can see. Um, and then I'm going to dry my hair. I'm also going to use the thermal protection spray. I always use this, like, I don't know if these really actually do something, but I do like to use them. This one is by Balman Hair. Comb through, and I will be drying my hair together with the paddle brush. Let's do this. 
this is usually a very lengthy process, I usually play something on Netflix on my phone. Okay guys, the drying is done. As you can see, now you can really see that there's a lot of hair. Like you can also see that the hair it's not that bad, but there's so much. It's not sleek. It's not what I want to achieve. It looks like a mess. Sometimes I say I look like a witch just because it's not that disciplined. Like these little kinks here really annoy me because this is the problem. When you have curly hair, you can never get rid of those. I really like having sleek, smooth, shiny hair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reveal the ultra magic trick and the main point of why I'm doing this video. So before I start styling my hair and I show you how I'm gonna do it, I have to say that the reason why I love Dyson products so much is first of all because I'm a big science fan, you guys know that. I mean by I guess profession I could say I studied science so science is a big passion of mine and whenever something has a scientific kind of uh, background, whether it's a product, whether it's a compound, like a chemical compound, I'm always very, very interested in it. I've been a fan of Dyson products and James Dyson in particular, like for the longest time ever. I particularly love getting my sister anything Dyson related because she's a massive fan too, so it runs in the family, because I love the engineering behind it and the science of making every day little uh, life problems and like life tasks much easier whether it's vacuuming or it's styling of unruly hair so today i am going to be talking to you about dyson coral i'm sure you have seen this already online because this product is very popular and it's truly amazing but i'm going to talk to you about it as a girl with really frizzy, unruly, thick, and kind of difficult to manage hair. I need to talk to you. Are you leaving the Supremes? When I was a teenager, I used to watch hair tutorials and people just say like, section hair in four parts, straighten, go through it once and it works. And I was like, when I try that at home, it doesn't work. Also like to dry the hair, just like everybody else does it, it doesn't work because when you have this much hair, it's not the same when you have this much hair. And you know what? Like if I had to style only this, it would be much easier, but I don't and it can get hard, which is why I really need a high technology and high science behind my products. Okay, I'm gonna style my hair, but I've decided to actually just style one half of the hair um, to show you what it looks like. And I'm only gonna go through each strand once. Uh, I will explain a little bit about the technology itself afterwards and why this is so important to me when it comes to growing my hair and maintaining it healthy. Uh, but the first thing when I have noticed this styler is that of course this can be used cordless. I have never had anything like this in my life. I thought this is pretty genius because first of all, the plug is not always near a mirror. Do I even have to say that? Sometimes it can be so annoying because I have to kind of blindly touch up my hair and also because you can use it on the go. The second thing is the color. As you can see, this is very kind of Dyson colors. It actually reminded me a little bit of Supersonic, but I also have to say how much I love the design of Dyson products. There's a little lock thing here. I mean, why don't all um, straighteners have the little lock thing? This is so genius because sometimes when I'm packing them away in the bag, it can be quite annoying to like, you know, when you have a styler which is always open. It does open and mine is charged, I believe now. Let's see. There we go, turn it on, it says battery is full. It takes 17 minutes to charge Coral and it lasts for about 30 minutes, which I think is more than enough, even for my hair. Um, you can obviously here adjust the temperature depending on what you would like and you hear that noise. Um, so you can go up or down. What's really important is being a little bit of a nerd. I watched many of the James Dyson presentations before I even got this 
and I was so fascinated. First of all, I was so fascinated to see a CEO and a founder of a company who put his name to his products have like talk in the presentation about the new product because you usually see like other people in the company talk about the product. So for me, that's like immediately something that attracts me to the brand even more. But second of all, I really like to see the research that's been done and the money they have invested, like something like 100 million just to understand how to uh, make like the best really styler for hair straightening or curling or whatever you want to say. I don't want to call them straighteners. Coral. Now, the word itself means coral, like a putting together. So if you look at these plates, now I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the plates here, they corral around the hair strand. So when you put them in, they sort of like clasp around the hair because the plates are actually flexible. This for me is a must see here because now it's off, but just to kind of demonstrate, if I am to like put hair together, I always get like hair like falling out. So when you have these copper plates, which are actually corralling around the hair, you are not only uh, managing the heat, so like demonstrate like redistributing heat around the hair strand easily, which is preventing damage to happen. Because if you put all the heat on like on like one piece of the hair and not on the other you're likely burning part of your hair and not the rest like the rest is not getting straightened and then you keep going over and over and over again which is what i like about this that i only have to go once so now i'm gonna go once through my whole hair with corral i'm just gonna heat it up and i'm gonna go through half of the hair to straighten it to show you kind of like before and after and i will let's see you can put it on, for example, 185. When I watched the James Dyson speak about it, he said because the copper plates corral your hair in it, they redistribute the heat. So your hair is never actually the temperature of the plate. It's around 20 degrees less. There we go, it's ready. The sound means it's ready. Um, but it's always around 20 degrees less than what the plates are because the heat is distributed in a way that inside of the hair is kind of keeping the strands cool when, while the copper plates are straightening or curling it. So let's start. As you can see, I divided the hair. There's a lot of it. is that I only have to go through the hair once, as you can see. I mean, this is like literally a five minute job. I don't know how much we're gonna fast forward it just so that it's not boring for you to watch me do this. But honestly, it's been five minutes to already do this much hair, which for me is incredible. And I've only had to go once through each strand. The strands are not even particularly thin. I'm sorry for my car interference. I take like a nice little chunk of the hair. This is so important for me because it means that I'm not unnecessarily treating and heating my hair over and over again, which is what causes damage. I think like heat damage is a big, big problem and people just kind of tend to overdo it, which is obviously why they then subsequently cannot grow hair. Just to compare the structure of the hair that's been styled and the structure of the hair that hasn't been styled, I mean, hopefully the light will give it justice so that you can see how much shinier this is than this. Sometimes I find it very hard to grip the stylers and it requires like a lot of energy but because the copper plates grip around the hair strand it doesn't actually 
feel like it's hard. It's not sliding, it's not going anywhere. And this is half of my head done in literally five minutes. And it's basically um, all done by going through each strand once. Okay, now moment of the truth. I'm going to put this down just to show you here five minutes with coral. Also look at the ends of the hair here and look at the ends of the hair here. Uh, look at the general structure and some of the weird uh, strands also come closer for you to see how much sleeker this is than this. Look at the hair that's framing my face. Uh, this looks so shiny and beautiful and this is just mess. I'm gonna leave the bathroom now, I'll get dressed and I will show you the other part of the hair, how I style it in the living room because I would like to show you the process also in a different light because I think it's so important for you to properly see the hair. Little um, different view of the hair just so that you can properly see it. I'll go and get dressed now but I just wanted to show you the ends and the hair structure on this side and on this side. I think here you can really see the difference between this side of the hair and this side of the hair. The best thing about this is that I don't have, well I have a plug there but it's not really convenient so I just have my corral which is charged and I am going to do the second half of the hair. I don't have a mirror here so... So let's divide this mess into uh, something a bit more manageable. I know I keep uh, repeating this throughout the video, but the heat damage focus is the, the main objective of this product here. You know, back in the day when I would go to hair salon and I ask, can you blow dry me straight? And they would dry my hair straight and they're like, can I just go with the straighteners a little bit? I would say like, no, because I'm really like, really worried about the damage. And I try to use the straighteners as little as possible. I have used other tools, but I always try to use straighteners as little as possible um, until now. And my hair has never been better. So one thing that I'm going to insert just to show you um, the look uh, that the corral comes with a stand, which is magnetic. So basically when you put the straightener in the stand, it is also charging, but it does not have to charge with the stand. For example, I never bring a stand when I'm traveling. I only bring a pouch. Um, stand is just very useful and I think it looks absolutely stunning on my vanity table because it's such a design piece. Uh, it's such a kind of, I don't know, like it gives me a little bit more of a professional look, I would say, as well. One thing though that I have to say for me is so important when it comes to a cordless styler is that, guys, the cord never gets in the way. Like for example, when I would be doing this, the cord keeps getting in the way, like it's there, it's there, like it's in my nose, it's constantly hitting me, it gets plugged out. It's quite annoying thing, whereas with this, I can just go wherever I want without having to worry. I divide my hair into sections every time I'm styling it because this allows better management of the tresses. You have to try different uh, strand sizes in order to understand how much hair you need to put into corral each time. Approximately now I know because my hair now is getting, because like, it's really really healthy and it's in really great state now and of course it also depends on the hair type, like some hair is quite unruly frizzy coarse whereas the other one is quite smooth so the strand size that you need to put in coral depends on your hair type and it's something that's very individual and you just need to understand on your own so don't really look at how much i'm doing it but try and check based on yourself and on your own hair. I would also like to say that I understand many people can be kind of like, I'm not sure, is this for me, is this not for me? But I believe in Dyson technology and the knowledge behind these products so much that I suggest you go to the nearest boutique or the place where um, they are actually selling Dyson products and try this because you will, you will definitely fall in love, I can guarantee that. When it comes to um, generally straightening the hair, what I found works for me is, like I told you, I only go through the hair once. Oh my god, this is so unruly now comparing to everything else. What I found works really, really well for me is going really slow 
through each strand. Before, of course, styling of my hair, I made sure the hair is dry, I comb it through, there are no tangles, because if your hair is tangled, it's quite difficult anyway to go through it with even a brush. So I always hold my brush at the top, and then I slowly go through it. And all it requires is a one go. Look at the hair, how nice it looks once it comes off. slowly. So this, look at the difference between the two strands, even in shine. Also one thing that I would say is important is just to loosen the grip because the plates are doing the job for you. You do not have to like press so tight. Okay, so to summarize why I think styling with right products is so important is because Coral applies 50% less damage, heat damage to your hair and you only have to go through each strand once, which is obviously pivotal for um, healthy hair. It's extremely important if you want to maintain healthy hair to not overtreat it with heat and heat and heat and heat. So there we go, we're on our last strand right now. Good morning everybody. It's a new day and I actually wanted to check in and show you how my hair is holding up on the second day after wash. Usually first day after the wash or the second day off clean hair my hair is like mess it gets little kinks inside and um it just doesn't look that beautiful but this morning i woke up i haven't even actually brushed through my hair and this is what it looks like i never really brush my hair because the curly hair type my hairdresser always tells me should not be brushed because you just aggravated the hair and it ends up being really frizzy and massive so should not be brushed like for example the straight hair or different types of hair so there is no frizz, the shine is all here. This is like really important part for me because the ends, if they're a little bit curly and a little bit wavy, I think that looks always cute, especially because I always put the front part behind the ear. The rest of the hair looks, I would say, perfect. I don't even need to touch up and my hair is curly. So for me, I'm very happy with the results of having this hair. And I have to say with my hair type and with the styling that I do, I don't really have to wash my hair for approximately five days because my roots are never greasy. The only reason why I do wash hair is because I then like to change hairstyle. Talking about hairstyle, a great thing with Coral is that you can also use it for curling your hair, which is something that I've already mentioned before. Now, I'm not really one to be wearing her hair curly lately. I either wear my hair straight as it is right now or I wear it um, natural, like natural curls, which I do when I'm on summer holidays. It's hot enough. But then I just use my supersonic with a diffuser, which gives me my natural curl. You have actually seen it. I've done a hair tutorial with how I do my curls, so you have seen that. But I just wanted to demonstrate uh, on a hair strand or two what you can do with Coral because I think that um, it's not really gonna affect my hairstyle that much. Now that I'm looking at it from this direction, I actually remembered about the plain mode, which you can see over here. That is for when you're traveling with Coral, with your Dyson Coral in hand luggage. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna achieve very slow slow move like as you can see but you only have to go through once and you get this curl which i think is quite something that i used to wear and i used to really enjoy um wearing kind of like these type of curls back in the day i'm not so much into that anymore but i've like discovered that with coral and also when i'm doing other people's hair as well like if i help my sister or something another thing is if you pull it like one side and then you pull it other side and then you again pull it this side, you get a kind of loose wave. So you can either get this kind of curl or you can get a looser wave. I don't want either because I like to wear the hair straight, like I said, so like this will get straightened as you guys know in one go. I remember back in the day, if you curl your hair, there's no way you can like straighten it again <laughs> another way around. I'm about to head out for lunch actually. I just thought I'd demonstrate as I'm getting ready. What I love the most is as I'm going through each strand is that hair is not coming out and I don't have to keep thinking whether or not pieces are going to fall out. 
Another thing that I sometimes would like to do is like, for example, curl ends a little bit. And sometimes can be difficult to style, but you can just do this as well. But now that I have this very blunt, straight cut, I really like my ends straight as well. So just to demonstrate ends here where I've like curled them up a little bit here and they're very straight here. So yeah, you can basically just grab this corral. You can grab each strand and just as you straighten, you curl it a little bit or should I more like say curve it rather than curl it and the ends come out as this which I also quite like and I think it's just uh, another way of styling your hair. That was my little uh, video about hair. Hair is extremely important to me. I think it's like a huge part of my look. I guess everybody thinks hair is very important, but for me it's just like when I'm having a bad hair day, it's nothing can help, no makeup, nothing can help. But when I have a great hair day, I don't even need makeup, if you know what I mean. So let me know if you have any tips or tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.